All right, for completeness, we're going to now make a map of the sea surface salinity. And we're going to do that by copying the last script for the sea surface temperature and just modifying the contour plot. So first I copied the file, then I open it up using the Atom text editor. And now I'm running the script. And I'm going to first um, use the TOS 10 toolbox to convert the practical salinity, which is what is saved in the World Ocean Atlas, into the absolute salinity, which is in units of grams per kilogram. And I do this with a comprehension. And what's useful in um, the Atom editor is if you open a, start a function, then it'll tell you what the inputs are. So that's what I'm pausing for to see what the next input to GSWSA from SB is. So the first input is the practical salinity, followed by the pressure. And I use the depth for that. So uh, every meter is equivalent to one decibar, which is the input for that function. Then the law and the latitude. And I loop over the three indices and I convert create a 3D, three-dimensional field of absolute salinities from the three-dimensional fields of practical salinities. Now I'm going to have to change the contour levels, and I'm going to experiment a little bit with different contour levels. I started off with a spacing of 0.4 grams per kilogram. I'm checking, and it turns out in the fence post area I end at 38.8, but my thing goes 39, so I had an extra 0.2. And then I use... Uh, the absolute salinity instead of the temperature. I'm going to first try the same color bar, but later on I'll change it. And now I'm running it. And let's display the figure, see what it looks like. If you notice the big black bar over Antarctica, something went wrong and when I ran the script, some nans became numbers. And if I use the prompt, I can see that uh, over Antarctica, there's some 9 times 10 to the 15 values. So I'm going to filter that out and replace all the salinities that are greater than 80, which are not real, back to nans. And I have a pretty plot with no black band over Antarctica. All right, now I'm going to create the color bar. Same technique I used for the sea surface temperature. The only thing is I have to change... Uh, the label from gram per kilogram. I forgot to change the temperatures here. I'll do that later. But also I have to change the um, the tick levels, the x ticks level, right? They have to be in um, grams per kilogram, not in degrees Celsius. So I start at 28 and steps of 0.5 all the way up to 39. And then uh, what's painful is I now have to change all the labels because I'm using these LaTeX script to do all the labels. <clears throat> that may be a better way, but I'm not sure how. comma, I removed it. Now there's too many um, labels, so I'm going to just put a label at every um, unit, not every half unit. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to change the color bar to use the haline color bar. So we distinguish it from the one I use for temperature. And now I have a plot, which looks pretty good, I think. So I saved it, and I'm now going to bring it up on the screen. Ta-da!